Hey guys, it's Shannon, and today I'm doing a review on the Ahava Mineral Radiance Overnight Distressing Cream. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. But, um, I was sent this in the mail to do a review on, on their website. I wasn't paid to do this. I was just sent the product and asked if I wanted to do a review for free. And I said, sure, why not? I love trying new products. Um, so they did not contact me, like, Immediately, I am on a couple different, like, sites that does stuff like that. Um, I forget half of them. This was just, like, a random site that just popped up in my email, um, that suggested I do this, and they had already sent it to me, so I was like, sure. Um, but they actually had a couple different products you could try. This was the only one that they sent me, and I really like this. Um, so this is a... Size of you. 1.7 fluid ounce, and I did check the price. It is $50. I'm sorry, the lid is like reflective and stuff. Um, I'm not going to pull it up all the time because it is so reflective. I don't want to blind you or myself. Um, it is a 1.7 fluid ounce, so you do get a good amount. And I've had it for about two weeks, using it just about every single day, and I haven't used very much of it. It is $50, like I said. But I feel like if it doesn't take that much, because um, they said either use two to three times a week or you could use it every day depending on how your skin reacts with it and stuff. Um, so I've been using mine off and on like every day and stuff. It just kind of depends on the day. And lately I haven't been using it as much because I have been using like moisturizers for my sample Saturday. So that has caused me not to use it every single day because sometimes I go back and forth between my sample Saturday product and this product. I don't know what my lighting's doing. I'm sorry, every time I move my hands, it like changes, and I don't know why. Um, Cause like, my lighting in here is not changing, it's just my camera. Anyways, um, I do really like it. Um, the price I don't think is that bad, given how much product you're getting and how long that this product should last. It should last a long time um, if you just use a little bit like I do. Like I'll actually put some on right now so you can see just how little I use. So I pretty much just get some on my finger, like that much, if I even need that much. And then I just dab it around on my skin. Oh my gosh, it's so cooling. Like when it first hits your skin, it's just really cooling. Oh my gosh, I didn't want that much. So see, out of what I grabbed, I didn't even use like all of it. I still have like this much left. And then I just hold that back in the jar because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> and then just, I probably did put too much on my face. Like definitely on my upper lip. Why did I put that much? And then I just rub this around my face. I don't know what this is going to do because it's not nighttime. So I hope this doesn't cause anything. <laughs> it shouldn't. I mean it's just a name, right? You can use beauty products any way you want. So, like, immediately my skin just feels so soft and, like, really cool and everything. Like, it's got a major cooling effect. Um, and I have combination skin, and my skin is very sensitive and acne prone. My combination skin is half oily and half dry. I was like, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, but, yeah. And immediately, like, I don't have any problem. Like, I can put my glasses on now. Because I don't have any like residue or anything. Um, and I feel like you can feel my skin just soaking it up. Like because my skin has been dry lately since I've been sick. And you can just feel like your skin like just soaking it up and like taking it in. And it just feels amazing. And I love how moisturized it left my, left my skin. Um, the first time I used this I had actually used a mask. I think it's from Murad. Um, I actually did it for sample Saturday. And it really 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 like mess on my skin. It burned my skin really bad. My skin felt so dry and like this part of my face was just raw because it just burnt my skin and everything. And I put this on after and immediately my skin just felt so much better. And the next morning I woke up and I didn't have any dryness or anything. My skin just felt really hydrated and like really like it was brought back to life it seemed. And I just really liked that. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Okay. I gotta watch the time because my grandma's gonna be messaging me for lunch. And I got, I don't have my phone with me. It's over there. Um, and if I don't message within two minutes, she gets mad. <laughs> Anyways. 
uh, I just really like how it leaves your skin feeling. It didn't break me out. If anything, I think it like kind of tamed my breakouts um, that were happening at the time. I feel like it made them smaller, made my pores smaller. Um, let's see what else. Some sleeping masks, this might sound weird, but some like overnight sleeping things make me not be able to sleep. I don't know if that's the scent or what exactly, but some of them cause me not to be able to sleep. Um, what was the one I tried? I think it was a Vino. That wasn't it. Might have been. I don't remember. I tried one of them for my simple Saturday. And the first two nights that I used it, I didn't sleep at all. And this, I didn't have a problem with that. And I don't know why most sleep masks, when I first use them, makes it so I cannot sleep the first, like, night or two that I use them. And then after that, I'm fine. I don't know if I, I'm just getting used to it being on my face or what, but this I did not have a problem with at all. I, like, slept with it really well. The scent of this is amazing. That's my favorite part of it, probably. It smells, I can't describe it exactly, but it's kind of along the lines of, like, a cucumber kind of range, I guess you could say. The website didn't really say anything, but I really, really like this product, nonetheless. Um, I highly recommend this. If you have any problems with, like, dry skin, especially, I feel like it really hydrates your skin and everything, or, like, just getting moisture into your skin. And like I said, it is a little bit more expensive, but the product lasts a really long time. So I feel like it is worth the, like, expensive price tag. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this review. I'm not very good at review videos, I'm sorry. Um, but if you guys have any comments on it, if you've tried it, tell me how it affected you and your skin. Or if you have not tried it give me your opinions on my review, like what you think about the product, um, just by hearing my reviews, if you would try it, if not, and just let me know. And I think that's it for today. If you want to check out any of my social media, they're in the description down below if you want to look at those. I usually follow everyone that follows me back, um, just because I'm that nice person that does that. Um, but I think that's it for today. I will see you all in my next video, which should be up Thursday, which I think I'm going to do a special video. It's not going to be a very long video. I'm not going to be able to film it until like Wednesday or actually I won't be able to film it until Thursday because my prom, prom dress is coming in this week and I last year I filmed my big reveal of my prom dress so I'm going to film that for Thursday because I know it's coming in I think Wednesday. So I think that's it for today. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!